of Utica College to be in session. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the singing of the national anthem by graduating senior Casey Meisner. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we. So gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still. Beautifully done, Casey. Please be seated. Good morning. I'm Todd Hutton, president of Utica College. Members of the class of 2014, families and friends, trustees, faculty, staff, Mr. Roy, Professor Miga, Mr. Carbone, and other distinguished guests. I'm honored to welcome you to the 65th commencement at Utica College. I want to extend a special greeting to all of the family members in attendance today. It is because of your love and your nurturing support that these soon-to-be graduates have achieved this milestone in their lives. I know that our students appreciate your love and support and our faculty and staff appreciate the confidence that you placed in us to help prepare your loved ones for the world of work, for leadership in the communities and in their chosen vocations, and for a lifetime of never-ending learning. I would also like to recognize a group of very important people in our students' lives and in the life of this college, our faculty and our staff. I would ask that our students give a standing ovation for the faculty and staff who have dedicated their lives to your learning and development. Please be seated. Members of the class of 2014, 
We are here today to celebrate your achievements and to bestow upon you the imprimatur for calling yourself a graduate of Utica College. That imprimatur being the bachelor's degree. This degree represents the certification of the faculty and the Board of Trustees of Utica College that you have successfully completed a course of study and are deserving of the credential and the symbol of that achievement. Today's ceremony is also our way of congratulating you, our graduates, for your many extraordinary achievements and for your contributions to our community of scholars. And we also thank you for enriching our college community as well as the local community. We are better for your having been here and I hope that you can say the same about yourselves. Before I introduce the next speaker, I want to tell you a very short story that has touched my heart. Members of the Utica College community know that this has been a very difficult year for us. In the span of less than one year, we lost four students, one faculty member, and two staff members. Students Matt Dunn, Joseph Chubbuck, David Walter, and Nick Turek. Professor Tom Brown, and staff members Greg Roberts and Kathy Warzella. They left us much too soon, and we remember all of them on this occasion. I want to especially mention Joe Chubbuck. Joe passed away on August 1st, 2013, just before he began classes, after a long illness. Had he not passed away, he would have been graduating today. Joe's mother told us that before he died, <clears throat> he said that one of his greatest regrets was not being able to complete his education. Excuse me. It's my great honor to say today that we, can, we will confer upon Joe Chubbuck his Bachelor of Science degree posthumously. We'll be meeting with Joe's family in a few weeks to present them with Joe's diploma. But I'm touched that Joe's parents, Barbara and Joseph, are here with us today and that they provide, provide Joe's military beret for the chair right here to be set in his honor. I tell you this story not to make you sad, but to inspire you to always reach for that which may seem impossible. Joe Chubbuck reached for what he thought would be impossible, but his family and his UC professors were there to help. And from this day forward, he will be recognized as a UC graduate. So in closing, I want to share this piece of advice that came to me many years ago from a UC alum. Take time for quiet moments and for personal reflection. Take care of yourself just as you take care of your career, your family, your community, and others around you. That alumnus's wish for graduating students and my wish for you today is this. May you find peace within yourself and may happiness and good health be with you always. Congratulations and best wishes to all of you, our graduates. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Chanel Finney, President of the Senior Class. Madam President. <laughs> Thank you, President Hutton. And good morning, Board of Trustees, Mr. Roy, members of the platform party, faculty, staff, friends, and last but not least, the class of 2014. <laughs> now, if you know me, you know I can stand up here and talk to you all day long. But don't worry, I'll keep it under 20 hours. People have gathered from all over
over today to commemorate our past four years here at Utica College. There are those who have encouraged us, humbled us, taught us, and fought for us throughout the years. As we stand here at the end of our undergraduate career, it is important that we acknowledge those who have supported us along us, alongside our journey here today. So, to all of the grandparents who sent us care packages, to all of the parents who called residence life when their son or daughter didn't get the room of their choice, to the younger brother or sister who argued with us every time we came home from break, reminding us why we decided to go off to college in the middle of nowhere in the first place, to the advisor who may have never seemed to remember us, but always knew how to tell us we hadn't signed up for enough classes, and to the many staff and friends who stepped up to the plate when no one else seemed to be in our corner. We thank you. Graduates, please give all of those a round of applause as they will continue to be there for us. No matter how mature we may think we are, we will need them now more than ever. Graduates, as I look around and see your faces, some of you are scared, some of you are excited, some of you are ready to celebrate what's to come. But let us take this time to really feel and process what is actually happening here today and understand how far we've come and how much more we have left to accomplish. For me, the word Utica went from being the second to the last stop on the four train in Brooklyn to a small town with a big heart. And like many of my classmates, the reasoning behind coming to Utica College was strengthened when they sent us our first free t-shirt in the mail. Trust me, it wasn't an easy decision. We have learned so much more than what we thought we would at our alma mater. Many of us who have lived on campus learned that the best meal in the cafeteria was breakfast, and if you were running late, you'd have to skip Tammy's line. We love you, Tammy. We've learned that the Gannett Library during finals week is sometimes usually not at all that quiet, and Chi Beta Sigma's air band was definitely guaranteed to have the same attendance as this commencement ceremony. Go girls. The latter of us today have learned some scholarly things, sorry. I know the valedictorian Christina Shakula and Joshua Har, the salutatorian, can attest to that. A couple of us learned how to post our angel discussions one minute before the cutoff at 11.59 and how to blatantly tell your professors you weren't able to turn your paper because you were sick, when in reality, you were just sick of writing papers. Most of us can do in-text citations in our sleep while studying and taking selfies in the same breath, although the quality may sell for a bit. But more than all of that, we learned how much diversity we have here at UC and our commonality within those diverse groups. We learned that some of us didn't have that spare time to share some of those campus experiences I mentioned earlier, as the person next to you or in front of you, because in today's economy, you were juggling a full-time job in the community, dealing with your spouse or children back at home, or possibly dealing with a serious illness back home with your family or within your own lives, all the while working hard to obtain this degree. I would love to say we all came running to this finish line degree in hand because nothing and no one could stop us, but that's just not true. We faced those challenges and many obstacles did try to stop us. But being a strong believer in the fact that struggle reveals the brighter, stronger, and sexiest you, I really wanted to highlight that. Because your hard work, dedication, and determination did not go unnoticed. In the end, we all can identify with the worry, the fears, the fun times, and the many times we stared at the face of fear and said, nothing will stop me. During the difficult times we've encountered on our educational journey here at Utica College, this struggle and this success is what we have in common. Some have doubted us, some tried to hold us back, but every graduate here today made a decision not to quit. We recognize that when you don't quit, you can't fail. Again, repeat, when you don't quit, Thank you. And we know that if we carry that with us for the rest of our lives, that we will make something for ourselves. Promise me that you won't let anyone downplay what we've accomplished here today. Know that our UC degree is our precursor to greatness, and we are just getting started. So class of 2014, I wanted to leave with you with a few things. Be true to who you are and what you want in life. 
Parents and friends have dreams of their own and some they want you to fulfill. You must come to know your own dream and live it each day. You can have role models, but never observe so far into their mirror that you can't see yourself in your own. Stay humble. Not every accomplishment needs to be broadcasted to the social networks and <laughs> trust me, there will be people who can't handle your awesomeness. And yes, there will be those who will look for ways to bring you down. Behind followers and likes, sometimes you can't differentiate who's who. Yes, we do only live once, but do something valuable so that it benefits those around us and those who come generation after us. When you think of someone who has encouraged you, call them. When you have an idea, expand on it. When an opportunity presents itself, seize that moment. Don't be caught up in the what ifs the, or the should haves or the I don't know how tos. Let's just get up and do it. If the results are not what you wanted, be glad about what you have learned. Life should be about a quest of finding yourself, knowing your limits and working to raise them. Now for the big one, have fun. There are times when we get caught up in the erroneous expectations of society. A little fun ain't hurt nobody. And if it did, they didn't do it right. Those who are doing it right, you will see that they're not miserable and they're following this, their happiness and joy. Start doing what not only makes you happy, but what makes you grow as an individual, the true you. Whether or not you discover a business and discover a career in business, education, medicine, engineering, government, full-time mother or father, always remember that our journey began at Utica College. This is a connection that cannot be broken. Class of 2014, this is the beginning of the rest of our lives. It has been a pleasure to serve as your senior class president. Congratulations. Chanel embodies that new uh, tagline that you see on the banners. What is that? Never stand still. Chanel, thank you very much.